Midpoint Library System is presenting another story time for you today. Today's story time is Hooray for Hippopotamus. Good morning, everyone. So nice to see all of you here today. Today, we're going to read some stories about the hippopotamus. That large animal lives in Africa. He likes to eat grass, roll in mud, and sit in water. In fact, he likes water so much, he sometimes even sleeps underwater. The word hippopotamus is often called hippo for short. Can you spell hippo? H-I-P-P-O. Hippo. Good job, everyone. Have you ever wished that you were different, maybe older or taller? Well, today our story is about a hippo who wishes that he could be different. He wants to be bigger. Our book is Big Little Hippo, and it was written by Valerie Gorbachev. Let's see if our little hippo gets his wish. Little Hippo was the youngest in his family. He was the smallest, too. His sister was bigger. His brothers were bigger. His mother was bigger. And his father was bigger. His neighbor, Big Old Crocodile, was much bigger than Little Hippo. And Very Tall Giraffe who had come to the river for a drink, was much, much bigger. And, of course, Giant Elephant was much, much, much bigger. Everyone is bigger than me, grumbled Little Hippo to himself. Mommy, why am I so little? asked Little Hippo. Don't worry, said his mother. You will grow up to be big, just like your daddy and me. But I don't want to wait, said Little Hippo. I want to be big right now. Little Hippo felt like the smallest creature in the world as he walked between giant trees and tall thickets of grass. Just then, Little Hippo saw a baby beetle lying helplessly on his back. Poor baby! Let me help you, said Little Hippo, and he rolled the tiny beetle over onto his feet. Thank you, Big Hippo, said the beetle's family. You were very kind to help our baby. Wow, exclaimed Little Hippo. They called me Big, and suddenly he felt very big. I'm big now, cried Little Hippo running past Giant Elephant. I'm big now, cried Little Hippo, running past Tall Giraffe. I'm big now, cried Little Hippo, running past Big Old Crocodile. Mommy, I'm big now, he cried, and he told her all about the baby beetle he had helped. How wonderful, said his mother. You are growing up. You are Big Little Hippo now. He smiled a happy little hippo smile. His new name made him feel just the right size. I'm so happy that our little hippo discovered that he was big too. Aren't you happy for him? Hippos are very wonderful animals, and they are gray. Can you think of any other animals that are gray? Let's see her. Oh, yes, that's a good one. Somebody said elephant. Yes, elephants are gray. This is a tougher one. Can you think of an, ele of an animal that is a little bit bigger than a hippo, but a little bit smaller than an elephant? And he lives in Africa. And he has a horn on his head. Oh, 
It's a rhinoceros. Yes, they're gray too. How about an, a an animal that swims in the ocean? And he can be dangerous. He's gray. He has amazing teeth. Can anybody think of what that? Yes, that is absolutely right. A shark. Okay, how about some gray animals that are closer to our home? How about an animal that has a fluffy tail, a bushy tail, actually, as well as fluffy, and he's very busy, and he likes nuts, and he might live in the trees in your backyard. Yes, that is right. A squirrel. Good, good. How about something that is soft and purrs? A cat. A cat can be gray. I have a gray cat. They are so beautiful. How about an animal that hops and lives in your backyard and has a cute little tail and long ears? A rabbit. And how about something that's little bitty teeny weeny? A small little mouse. There are some other gray animals. Our next story is about a silly hippo who wants to dress herself, but she can't get her socks to match. Have you ever had that problem? Let's see if she can find the right socks. This is One Red Sock by Jennifer Gordon Sattler. In a big pink chair, in a room full of dots, sat a purple hippo wearing one red sock. It looks funny this way. This just will not do. So she put on another sock. This one was blue. <sighs> I have to be fashionable or I cannot be seen. So she put on another sock. This one was green. She stuck out her chin. This won't run my day. So she put on another sock. This one was gray. This is driving me crazy. It just isn't right. So she put on another sock. This one was white. She was losing her patience. She told herself, think. So she put on another sock. This one was pink. Well, I hope this one works. It's the last one I've got. And she pulled on a sock with <gasps> Polka dots. Well, it's not perfect, and it's definitely not red. But at least it matches my room, she said. So she tottered off happy, though her socks weren't a pair. And the other red sock? It had always been there. The end. How about it? Do you see the sock? Look hard. There it is, right in the chair. Real hippos. What are real hippos? Real hippos live near water where they can keep cool. They spend much of their day relaxing and sleeping in water. At night, they leave the water and go out looking for grass or fruit to eat. So, we're going to do a rhyme about Hippos doing exactly what they like to do when they're in Africa. This rhyme is called Five Hippos, and they're out enjoying their day. Five hungry hippos eating grass by the shore, one cannonballs into the water, and now there are four. Four hot hippos under a shady tree, one glides into the water, and now there are three. 
three grazing hippos found some grass to chew. One dives into the water, and now there are two. Two hot and cranky hippos want to get out from the sun. One does a backflip into the water, and now there is one. One lonely hippo needs the others for some fun. He jumps into the water, and now there are none. But wait! Look in the water, and what do we see? Five cool hippos, happy as can be. Can you count the hippos with me? One, two, three, four, five. Our last book is about a little hippo who was so busy going to play that he forgot something very important. But see if you can figure out what it is that he's forgotten. The book is called Kiss Kiss by Margaret Wilde. One day, when Baby Hippo woke up, he was in such a rush to go and play that he forgot to give his mama a kiss. Oh, said Mama. Through the squelchy, squelchy mud waddled Baby Hippo, and this is what he heard. Kiss, kiss. Around the bumpy, bumpy rocks waddled baby hippo, and this is what he heard. Kiss, kiss. Up the mossy, mossy bank waddled baby hippo, and this is what he heard. Kiss, kiss. Through the long, long grass waddled baby hippo, and this is what he heard. Kiss, kiss. Under the leafy, leafy trees waddled baby hippo, and this is what he heard. Kiss, kiss. Baby hippo stopped. He suddenly remembered something he had forgotten to do. Baby Hippo hurried back under the leafy, leafy trees. Through the long, long grass. Down the mossy, mossy bank. Around the bumpy, bumpy rocks. Through the squelchy, squelchy mud to find his mama. But he couldn't see his mama anywhere. Oh, said Baby Hippo. Then, out of the deep, deep water appeared two eyes, two wiggly ears, and a pair of snorting nostrils. Peekaboo, said Mama. Baby Hippo beamed. Kiss, kiss, he said. Kiss, kiss, said Mama. The end. Did you see that he forgot to kiss his mother? Be sure to give your special pe person a kiss today. Thank you for being such a good audience. I'm so happy we could share some stories together today. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming today. I'm so glad you came to see us. Please come back another day. Great job. You did it!